Hello students, I hope you are doing great mathematics. In this video, we will talk about research opportunities that are coming up in Chinta. I will also share with you some strategies, some resources that you can use to start your research journey. Research projects can be very useful and effective learning tools in the high school level. If you are in grade 9 or above, you should definitely try out a research project. It also adds a lot of value to the university application process if you are planning for universities in US or Europe at some point of your life, even after high school or after college. Chinda students have effectively used research projects to read some of the best universities of the world. You can check the link in the description for some of those work. We have had students going to Harvard, Stanford. They have talked in our YouTube channel as well before. The link in the description has those videos and abstracts and papers and so on. So we know how research projects can be an innovative and effective way to enhance your learning and also help you reach some of the best places of learning. So let me start this discussion by explaining what are the upcoming opportunities at Chinta. So this summer and going forward all year round, we will have 30 to 45 seats in research. This is a very competitive area because we have only a handful of people who have a PhD or who have publications and who can effectively guide you in research. So if you are interested, make sure to apply quickly because there are only 30 to 45 set seats. We work in a few areas where we have some expertise. For example, we work in group theory and topology and hyperbolicity in pure mathematics. We also work in algebraic K theory. We work in dynamical systems. These are all areas of pure mathematics. Then we have also worked and we will continue to offer some research positions in computer science and in artificial intelligence and machine learning. For example, we would give positions for mach machine learning driven computer vision projects and statistical analysis projects. So there are quite a few things that we are offering this year and you can choose from that. Research projects are usually done in two steps. One is the training that's go that goes on for a few months and then you go on to write a paper or create a product or create an application using what you have learned. It's an outstanding all-rounded process, a holistic process which allows you to innovate, which allows you to learn stuff, which allows you to actually apply what you have learned. I warn you a little bit more about what is not a good idea in this day and age. There's a lot of students who are actually investing time in just some data-driven research project. They would learn a machine learning algorithm or they would just plug the, the some, some sort of data in a software system and get some graphs, they just do a literature review, plug them together, and that that they, they call that a paper. And then they try to publish it in some so-called journals who would happily accept some money and just publish it, and it doesn't make any an iota of difference in your application process on your, or in your learning. So you should avoid these scams. You should not be worried about just publishing your work. Even from an university application point of view, if you just submit it as an additional material to your application and talk about it in your statement of purpose, that is sufficient. This we have seen and we have done this before, so we can tell you with some confidence. Your research project should have two major outcomes. It should have a wonderful learning experience and innovation experience for you. And secondly, it should heavily impact your academic career, your academic pathway towards some of the best universities in the world. To do that, this is what you should be starting with. Number one, start with an inspiring book and a set of inspiring papers, academic papers. If you are joining Jinta, we will help you to select those books and select those papers to increase your gamut of understanding. The second thing, is that you start with an area of interest that coincides with the advisor's area of interest as well. Of course, both of them has to make some compromise, but we, we can find a middle ground and work on that. 
Once we have done that, then the remaining 8 to 12 months is a lot of hard work and weekly meetings and innovation cycles and so on. It's a lot of fun. You're creating new things, understanding new things, and your the horizon of knowledge is expanding. So I hope this was helpful. You can check the link in the description. It will give you an opportunity to apply for the upcoming research projects at Chidda. Give it a try um, and change the way you think about education and innovate something. All right. All right. Take care. Bye. I, I'll see you in the next video. Until then, keep on doing good work.